Hey everyone, and uh, welcome to this workout today. You don't need any equipment, you're just gonna need yourself. We have two moves. Uh, we're gonna start with high reps, the first move, low reps, the second move, and the reps are gonna change as we go along. So our two moves are squats and press-ups. Uh, after a quick warm-up, because it's all body weight stuff, don't need to warm up too early, but we'll make sure we get warm as we go along, but we'll make sure we do some mobilization stuff. Um, we're gonna do 50 squats and five press-ups. We're gonna do 40 squats, 10 press-ups, 30 squats, 15 press ups, 20 squats, 20 press ups, 10 squats, 25 press ups. And then you can break them up if you need to, like take a rest up for every 10, every 5, anything like that. And it's just trying to get it done as quickly as you can, maintaining good form so we're not bouncing out the squats too quickly. And also just trying to get a similar range of motion for 10 every press ups, whether on the knees or our toes. But we're going to get mobilized and warm up first. So we'll start with some squats. I know we're going to do lots of these in the workout, but we'll get that movement pattern working. So we're seeing the hips back and down, driving the feet to the floor, and you're squeezing the legs. We're gonna do a couple more. Okay, last one. And then we're gonna just come into a roll down a couple of times, so we're actually on the shoulders that we're bending the knees. We'll roll as far towards the front as we can, directly as we touch the ground. And then we'll slowly roll back up again. And we'll repeat this a couple of times. And on the next one, we're going to hold down in our love and put that our forward fold, sorry. We'll then walk the hands. We'll bend legs, walk the hands out into a plank. We'll then step the foot forward. One of them doesn't matter which one, so we come into a low position. We'll keep the squeeze of the legs. Then you need to just lower the back knee to the floor. We'll then lift the same arm as the legs. We'll step forward up towards the ceiling. Bring the hand back down. And we'll do that a couple of times. And then we can step the foot back. And we'll do the same thing. Go the other way, keep the squeeze the legs, again lowering the back knee if we need to. Last one. We'll step the foot back, we'll walk the hands back towards the feet into our forward fold. Come back up to standing, and then we'll just do a few more. Well done. If you want to take a little bit longer to mobilize a little bit more, please feel free to. So pause the video now. But then if you are feeling ready to go, we will start that workout very, very shortly. So we start 50 squats. Once we've done 50, straight into five press-ups. Once you've done five press-ups, back into the squats. Stop and rest whenever you need to. Again, like I said, if you need to with the squats, do a set of 10, break it, set of 10, little break, set of 10, until you've done your 50, etc. etc. Break up how you see fit, but try to keep that form so you can find the form's breaking down until it's empty the move. Just take a moment to rest, recover, and come back in. So, without further ado, we'll get into the fun. We'll go in three, two, one, let's go. And it's just your range of motion in your squats, sinking your hips as far down as you can, driving your feet to the floor, thinking about that squeeze the legs. And trying to keep the chest lifted as well. We're going to breathe the whole time. So we've got to. And keeping count. That's always difficult when you're moving. We've got to straighten other things too. So that's the thing about this workout, you can me down anywhere when you're traveling, 
when you're at home, wherever. If you don't need any equipment, and it should still feel challenging wherever you are. I've got three squats to go. Last one, that's my 50. So I'm gonna come down to my five. And back to my squat. So I've got four to get started. So you press up, hands are wide in the shoulders. Elbows track slightly back as you come down. So they're not right next to my ribs. They're also not coming out of shoulder height. I'm trying to get the chest as close to the floor as you can, whether on the knees or toes. If you start on the knees, uh, start on the toes. You might find you need to lower the knees at some point, which is fine. I said just keep the best form that you can. Take any rest you need to. tempo. I try and focus on keeping that range of motion on both moves. I know once the legs feel heavy, it's really easy to try and take some range out of your squats and same with push-ups. Push ups.
That's the hardest round so far. Oh, last round of squats for me. Round the 25 press ups. So you can take some recovery if you need to. You and we can break them up. So I'm going to try and break this up into the rounds of five. And then the shoulder shake. Don't want to go to failure. And then they just get really hard. Done 10, 15, 15 to go. Let's so keep going, whatever round you're on, keep that tempo, keep that range. You're still going, keep going, you're doing awesome work. Just keep that tempo going. Get those reps done, take any breathers you need to. You can break the sets up if you need to. Oh, please, if you're giving this workout a go, please give it a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. That means the world to us. And if you've got any comments, if you enjoyed it, didn't enjoy it, uh, let me know how long it took. Leave us a comment below. Love to hear from you guys as well. But anyway, I said that's the end of that one. Short and sweet, you can do it anywhere. Don't need, don't need any kit for this one. But I hope you all keep in mind, take care. I'll see you, all you legends in the next one. Take it easy.